Hey, what's up Halo fans? Welcome back to another amazing Halo video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something crazy. And as you guys can see and already tell that we have the vehicles in Forge. Not just the Perlick and not just the Phantom, even the freaking Longsword and the Scarab. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, just so you know, all credits goes to um, Rejected Shotgun for making this mod. And keep in mind, this is not finalized. It's not completed. No way, you know, of it being completed. So there's still a lot of work to be done. There, there is a lot of bugs as well. It's not optimized just yet. So please do keep in mind. And you guys might be asking me, hey, uh, Shaban, can I try this mod out? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share the files. Uh, I'm really not sure. I have to ask him, uh, the creator of this. So again, all credits go goes to Rejected Shotgun for making this. That's the name. And uh, he did such a fantastic job for you know for porting these over, uh, you know the Scarab and such. So we're going to be trying these vehicles one by one. Uh, first thing, I want to try out the the Surf. Hang on, I think we should get the Saber in here. Should we get the Saber? All right, we've got the Saber. So you know, I just want to go one by one, do the basic vehicles, and then we try the Scarab at the very last. The map they're trying to they're trying to go for is the extension you all play that map from Halo custom edition and the extension map is such a classic fan made map that's what they're trying to head for but oh, he's doing a fantastic job I, I, don't, I don't know if there's like one person working on the mod but all i know I, th I think he's maybe him and maybe his few of the buddies are probably working on it but i, I think it's just him alone reject a shotgun that's making it so we're going to be hopping onto the saber you know give it a fly around obviously i know we play this in the campaign but obviously we haven't really you know use the vehicle on any maps and you guys can tell on how big this map is right now i'm already <laughs> it feels like i'm playing custom edition too <laughs> uh it's pretty dope this will be coming as a uh, official uh, in forge if you guys don't know this will be uh, in official forge uh, once the uh, people three do give us a uh, forge uh, which is uh, pretty amazing okay now we Given that a quick fly, let's go for the surf. So the surf was never ever flyable. I don't know if it was ever flyable in the campaign. I'm not sure, uh, but all I know, we we, we did uh, fought these guys, these vehicles. Um, I think it's one of the uh, campaign missions in Halo Reach, the space mission, where you're flying the saber and you find these. So this was in, but it just wasn't usable. Not not like the saber, at least. So this is pretty epic. Man, space battles are, are going to be insane. So I did flew this uh, before. Uh, if you guys looked at my previous videos, I did fly these um, custom games with my uh, friends. This is great. And by the way, I'm using the controller. It's just that because Forge isn't really optimized. So I'm using the controller. If you guys want to use a control, um, if you guys are going to use Forge, use a controller. Don't really use a mouse and keyboard yet. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to the fun part. We're going to be actually wait, wait a minute. We want to try the ghost actually. I was going to say the pelican, but <laughs> let's try. Let's try the ghost. Okay, this is nice. Really nice looking color on the ghost. So let's fire. Ah, that's nice. Very nice. He did such a fantastic job. Or oh, everyone, please go subscribe to Reject a Shotgun. Done such an amazing job, dude. Thank you for making this mod. If you're watching this, you know, thank you so much for making this mod, dude. I like he had the, uh, I like how he added the red AR, just like he, just like how you've seen in um, Halo Custom Edition, uh, the extension map, which was amazing. Oh wow, flying a pelican. I mean, this is a really new because obviously there were a lot of uh, modders that did actually modded the pelican previously. Wow, this feels great. It feels really great flying this in Halo Reach in the modern Halo games actually. It feels amazing. I really hope people who do add official Pelican in Halo Infinite, which I do think which I do think uh, they will, because if you look at Halo Infinite's trailer and you see the Pelican that Master Chief is in, it's so detailed. Why is it that detail? Why is it I don't know, it's like there's a purpose of it maybe maybe because we're gonna actually be in the pelican officially not for that mission maybe but i don't know if we could like to fly it 
you know, the, the, the front uh, pilot seat looks very detailed in Halo Infinite. Like, you see all the buttons, the radar, like, everything looks very detailed. And they must have done that for good reason. So, I think it's viable in Halo Infinite. That's my, that's my prediction. In multiplayer. In Forge. That's my prediction. Okay, um... We're gonna fly the Phantom. I'm not too much of a big fan of the Phantom. Not much, not compared to the Pelican. It's still a pretty cool vehicle to fly. That's what it does. But yeah, I prefer the Pelican over the Phantom. What do you guys prefer? The Pelican or the Phantom? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Imagine these vehicles going into Forge officially and the, and the amount of machinimas that people will make will be amazing. So yeah, this isn't completed, okay? Just, just, just so you guys know. Nothing hasn't been finalized yet. I don't want to destroy this Phantom and I'm in it because if I do, I will die and then I'll, it will show me a black screen. That happened to me and I had to restart the game. So again, the game isn't, <laughs> isn't finished, all right? The mod isn't finished, it's so buggy. Okay, now we're going to be trying the main part is the longsword. And obviously the, the only thing I don't like about this longsword, this version, like there's no indoors like you can actually see. I kind of prefer the uh, longsword from Halo Custom Edition because you can actually walk inside it, which is pretty cool. And you can actually come out the front and then see, uh, you can look throughout the windows to see what's going on. On here you can't really do that. Let's, let's fly this. Uh, I swear to god it feels like I'm playing Custom Edition. Custom Edition 2. <laughs> If 343 ever let, uh, give us official mod support, I'm talking about Halo Custom Editions level, then I swear to God, we actually have Custom Edition 2. And modding for Halo will make Halo 2 um, to boost up its um, its lifespan. And that's a, that's a promise. It's not, it's not like if or, you know, or it's not a question. It will happen. If they give us a uh, hardcore modding sp uh, support like Halo Custom Edition, I absolutely promise you the game is going to, you know, it's going to be around for a very long time, which needs to happen. How do I, how do I use my nuke? I'm using the controller, so oh, I don't want to, I don't want to get crashed. I don't think he hasn't added the nuke yet. We had fun with that. Now, let's try the scarab. Now, I've been dreaming about driving the Scarab since Halo 2, well not Halo 2, Halo 3. The Halo 2 Scarabs were a bit, eh, they were really shit, <laughs> excuse me for my language. They were just awful, okay, like, you don't do much with them, absolutely much. Like, when I saw them, I, I had no vision, like, for the future, you know, like, oh, the shit vehicles, get them out. But when Halo 3 came along, everybody, I'm talking about everybody saw potential of the Scarab, alright? Like, it's just insane how uh, how much of a big leap it was compared, you know, you know, compared to Halo 2 and then in Halo 3. Uh, even Bungie stated that the Scarab in Halo 2 was awful. <laughs> uh, but they did such an amazing job uh, in Halo 3 and Halo Reach, of course. I don't really remember much of the... This is the Halo Reach Scarab actually, not the Halo 3 Scarab. So, I mean, I think it functions the same, same thing. So if you go around here, oh, can we actually destroy that? Well, I don't want to destroy it while I'm in it. I don't want to destroy the Scarab yet. Or we can destroy it at the end, maybe. Uh, but yeah, and look at that. I'm driving the Scarab, but it's not really moving. It's not really doing much. I'm seeing his legs moving, that's about it. Like I said, it's buggy. Can I use a gunner? Ooh. What was that? Oh, I'm firing. Look, can you guys see? That's so dope. Dude, did I just draw the pelican? What? When the heck did the... I didn't realize the pelican was destroyable. Okay, you can't really drive it. I don't know, you can't really move the Scarab. I mean, I don't... This is, this is my very first time hopping into the Scarab. 
That's impressive going to destroy it. Ooh. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, we didn't get out of here. We're gonna spawn some things on here. Why not, right? Let's spawn um, a turret. So we're gonna look for a machine gun. So we're gonna hop on to we're gonna go up here. Place this machine gun on here. Like can you imagine? Like six new players playing this right now. I wish I could play with someone just that, uh, you know, one of my buddies uh, actually learning this um, uh, modded file and um, he told me that, yeah, yeah, we can play test, but he had to go. So I'm just here all by myself playing this. <laughs> this is amazing. They've got to add this as official. If not, Halo Infinite needs to have it. It needs to have it. It's been, we've been asking for more, like, what, since what? Since Halo 3? Like, we wanted the Scar, we wanted the Pelican, you know, the Phantom, all in Forge. It needs to happen. How random is that spawning a ghost on a on a Scarab? That's impressive. Oh, dude. It just kicked off my mongoose. That's not good. Alright, let's um, put it back on top. Oh, okay, it's, it kicks off the vehicles. Just the vehicles, I think. I think the guns can stay. Hang on, if I was to spawn... Just so you know, I am testing this as well, so I want to see if this will allow us to spawn the um, the weapons on the Scarab. Oh, wow, it falls through. Okay. So again, guys, this is the bug you're seeing. It's not finalized. I'll accept that. Should we go blow up the uh, Scarab? I want to see if it blows up. Uh, I want to see if it blows up. I haven't tested it out yet. Is that it? Is it gonna explode? I don't see the scam going down. So he hasn't, and I don't, I don't think he hasn't really done it yet. It's not actually destroyable. I don't think. I don't know if you could destroy his legs. Hang on. Let me see if you can. I don't know if it's me, but the detail on the scarab seems a bit off. It seems a bit blurred. Like the texture wise. Like in Halo 3 scarab is pretty much detail. And maybe it's not finalized. I think he could sort that out. I'm really excited to see Halo 3 uh, modding. I want to see the scarab, the the uh, the longsword, the phantom, the pelicans and forge. Like I want to see scarab assault in uh, on sand trap. That'll be pretty fun. So guys, I think that's it for today's video. Um, if you guys, you know, enjoy this video, please do hit that like button. Be sure to uh, subscribe to Re Rejected, um, what's his name? Rejected Shotgun, I think that's his name. Uh, his YouTube channel will be uh, in my description. Please do um, subscribe to his uh, channel. He will be posting some hater videos, a lot of hater videos. Uh, I do recommend checking that out. If you guys are, you know, obviously hater fans and you want to see hater mods, go subscribe to him. And his Discord should be there too, so go ahead and join it. I'm in there too, so hopefully we can see each other. You know, say hi. <laughs> That's it for today's video, and I will see you, Spartans, in the next video. Take care. Bye.